What's going on dudes, Jason here with some drop zone on bootleg, uh, using the 50 cal here actually. Uh, and this is the first time that I've ever gotten a Moab by accident. <laughs> and what I mean by accident is like I wasn't think going into this game thinking I was going to get one. I don't have special, obviously I don't have special bonus on because you don't get kill streaks in drop zone. But I was just running around like you see me already just running around quick scoping. Um, and I don't know, this was just fun to me. Like it wasn't until... You start off with 30 extra bullets for your 50 cal if you're running extended mags. So by the time it gets to zero, like I reload and I see the zero over there that I don't have any extra ammo left. And I'm just kind of like, man, I've used that many bullets. I wonder how many kills I have. So that's what got me thinking. So before that happens, I really wasn't thinking Moab. But then, you know, once I noticed that I was kind of running out of bullets, I was like, oh, maybe I am getting close. And I really started being a little bit more careful. But this Moab comes in at just a little bit under four minutes. And I have to thank uh, both teams, actually. I have to thank my team for keeping the lead but not being on the drop zone so much that the game, like, ended, like, within a few drop zones. Because if, really, if people play drop zone the way that they're supposed to, games like this wouldn't happen. Like, there's no way I'd be able to get this Moab like this and take my time. Because... You know, you'd have to get a Moab in like two minutes because the game would just be over. If you have like three or four people on the drop zone, I think it's two, like two and a half drop zones and the game can be over. I, I forget, man. Like I used to play drop zone with like a couple people and you can just end these games like so fast. It's crazy. But I also have to thank the other team for not like going to the drop zone and killing my team and taking over the drop zone and getting the lead because... If the team gets the lead, then I would have, like, you know, I would actually go towards the drop zone and try to kill some people. But I never had to worry about that because my team keeps the lead, like, the entire game. Uh, but anyways, drop zone is the easiest place to level up your snipers. Uh, that's why you see so many snipers in drop zone. And the second reason that I play drop zone by, by myself is, or oh, there's a couple reasons, actually. It's the easiest game mode to win by yourself, like... Even if you are sniping, you can still lay on the drop zone for a little while sometimes and, you know, get some points for your team before they before they kill you. Like, it's crazy how many people just completely don't go for the drop zone ever. Like, you might have two or three guys on each team actually trying to go for the drop zone and the other half of the team is just, you know, running around doing whatever. I guess what I'm doing in this game, just trying to level up their guns. But I don't understand people with, like, ACR. Like, if you're using an assault rifle or a submachine gun in drop zone, and you're not going after the drop zone, I truly don't understand it. Like, I could see people leveling up their shotguns, their snipers, and their LMGs in this game type, but really, if you're if you're running around with one of those, you know, pretty decent weapons, and you're, you know, <clears throat> not trying for the drop zone, I don't understand it. You know, you can level up those guns just as easy in any other game type. But, um, anyways, like, right now is when I really started thinking about it. Like, I see the zero over there, and I'm like, man, I just got a few more bullets left. I wonder how many <laughs> kills I've gotten so far. But, yeah, it's been a while since I posted a video, like, a month, man. And I didn't... <laughs> you guys know me. I just kind of post when I feel like it. But I was... I felt like I was really getting back into the groove of things there for, like, that last month or so before vacation. I was actually posting several times a week. And I was actually getting excited. Like, I was back into it. I really felt good about doing it. And then, I don't know, I went on vacation, got back, and just, you know, fucking laziness, I guess. Like, I don't know. It just gets away from me. Like, once you stop doing something for, like, a week or two, it's just so easy for you to just stop doing it completely. And I think that's kind of what happens, like, when I take these little short breaks and stuff, and then it's just like, well, fuck, I, you know, why am I going to go make a video now? I think what truly happened is I was truly excited for all the Black Ops 2 information. Like, you guys know, for, like, the whole past, like, five or six months, I've been talking about when we're going to find this stuff out. And then it so happens that I was on vacation that week, which fucking sucked. And uh, I got back, and it's just, like, it really felt like no point for me to do it. The, the Black Ops 2 information had been beat to death. You know, you guys have all these other sources of you know black ops 2 news that people were talking about it within like an hour after it happened i myself had watched like thunder you know wings of redemption woody's gamer tag everybody's videos on these thing on these topics and it just kind of felt pointless for me to go into that kind of detail and talk about it uh, i may still give kind of my thoughts on like a couple things here and there that i've seen uh but i will say that i am fairly excited for it and uh I was actually more pessimistic after watching the trailer, but watching full-length gameplay has made me 
feel like the game's actually going to be good and some of the things that I saw aren't going to be that bad like like the scope they can see through walls we know that cold blooded will hide you from that um, you know basically there's a counter for everything like like the perks in some way can counter a lot of the things that we were bitching about and uh, I was actually playing world at war yesterday like all day long and realized how fucking shitty a sniper rifle is without a scope on it because I actually put the scope back on my sniper rifle in World at War but that's probably because those maps are so big and long yeah that's what she said <laughs> those maps are so huge that um, you probably need a sniper scope in World at War but really man like outside of like you know maybe 20, 20 feet like the sniper without the scope in those games man is just awful so I guess we'll just have to see how the maps are laid out as to how effective that sniper without a scope is going to be. But uh, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Final score in this game was 53 and 11, but I only showed you the Moab life because that's how I roll. <laughs> uh, you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you guys later.